Is that something new for you this year? Or did you do that other spots? Or? Uh, I think it's the first. I, I think it's the first. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm getting old. I can't really remember a lot of stuff. And did you clear that before you go do it? Or is that spontaneous and you're just like, well, I'm, I'm an old guy. What are they really going to say? I'm, I got a contract now. What are they going to say to me? Nah, it's just, I mean, I'm not doing nothing doing that period. So it's like, I can sit down and get stiff. Or I can go out there and just walk around and sign autographs. So I choose to sign autographs and stay loose. CP, how have you seen your coach change from year one to year two since he's such a young head coach? Say it again. How have you seen Arthur Smith change from year one to year two? Is he more comfortable? I mean, what does it feel like from a player perspective? It's the same to me. I mean, Arthur is Arthur, man. He's, he's a great guy, man. He's one of the coolest coaches I've been around, you know. I'm, I just appreciate him, you know, everything you do for us, man. You see at practice, man, he, he take care of a lot of guys around here, and that's something I, I'm not used to, and so I just appreciate Arthur for that. The coolest coaches, can you, like, compare? I don't want you to compare him to a coach, but just how, how can a coach be that? <laughs> He's just Arthur. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just something about him. That's it. Through. There's one guy offensively, defensively that has stood out that you're kind of like, all right, he's starting to bring it a little bit. Honestly, man, the whole defense. You know, you know, yesterday they whooped our ass a little bit. You know, and first day of pass, and they they got out to us. And today, you know, the whole offensive line, they they just been working it. You know, they they've been working it all year, man. You know, coming back saying the good of shape the, the offensive line is and how hard they done worked the whole offseason. Now they're coming together like for the first time with, with pass on and stuff. It's, it feels great to see those guys work like that. There's a lot of time left before we kick it off for real, but what are your expectations of this team so far? As long as we do better than 2-15, and 15, man, we'll be good. So that's all the expectations saying we're going to be at 2-15, get the first overall pick. So if we do better than that, we, we did our job. Hanging up somewhere? Is that... <laughs> yeah, my head. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, is that an actual topic of conversation among you guys? I mean, if you're really worrying about that, man, then we worry about the wrong thing. You know, we, we're football players, and we're going to go out and compete each and every week, you know, and we're not really worried about what else you to say, man. Of course, we hear it, but, I mean, we can even believe it, you know, and believe we're a 2 and 15 team, or we can go out and, you know, just try to make it run for the playoffs. Found on your... your support for Cal. Uh, oh, yeah. Talk to them, how are you doing? That's my guy, man. I mean, <laughs> that's my guy. I mean, of course, I mean, he's, he's great. He's one of the best receivers I've ever seen, you know, in, in person, you know, play. So there's a lot of receivers out there, but I, I actually got to play with him. You know, it's a lot of girls out there, but he's, his route running, his ability to get open and catch the ball, is, it's amazing, man. Of course, I want him back out here, you know, much as everybody in that locker room now. And, you know, I tweeted out, you know, I, I know I probably got a lot of hate for it, but I really don't give a you know, that's my teammate. I want him to play. You know, and, that's, and I stand on all my teammates, you know, and I just want him to be out here. You know, I know he missed football. You know, he loved it. I know he's beating himself to death each and every day. So I don't want, you know, just don't want anything, you know, just stupid to happen. You know, so I'm always showing my support, you know, to that guy every, every chance I can. How much you talk to him? You talk to him at all? No. Nah. Okay. You got to let some people just have this space, you know, and, you know, can not always talk about ball, you know. I know, like I said, I know he missed it a lot, so I only want to text him and, you know, just talking about how much we miss him because it probably bring him, you know, sadness to him or anything. So just try to stay away. What's Marcus Mariota's leadership style like? It's good, man. It's different, you know. And how so? I don't know. <laughs> it's just different, man. You know, coming from a quarterback like Matt to to Marcus, you know, is it's different. They different quarterbacks, man. That's, they just different. So what was Matt different? How was Matt different from Marcus then? Put on. They just different. They just different. You gotta ask those two guys how they how they different. But they just different. Any particular reason you broke out the Christmas plates today just to cool it off a little bit? Yeah. Every day is Christmas for me, you know. So, <laughs> so I had to put my cleats on and just just show it. Anything else? How has your leadership role changed throughout the years? Like, I don't want to take you all the way back to when you were a rookie, but certainly things have changed for you from a leadership perspective where you used to listen to guys and now you're the guy speaking out. How has that role changed for you? Uh, it ain't changed much. You know, I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a guy, I don't, I don't really talk as much. I mean, if somebody talk to me, you know, I, I talk back. If they need my help on anything, you know, I give all my help, you know, and 
Uh, like I said, I'm just older now. Guys around the locker room call me Unc and stuff now, so that's a first, and I still got to get used to that. So. This is the first year that's happened? First year. Is that just a 10 year when you hit the 10 year milestone? Yeah, Will Grady told me the other day, he said, you Unc now since you're year 10, so some stuff I got to just get used to being called Unc around here. <laughs> Um, How has everything been? Uh, a lot of people have been talking about the competitiveness of this practice. Have you kind of felt that? Yeah, absolutely, man. We got we got people, man, out here competing, uh, and I, I love it. We got a team full of dogs. Uh, we got guys that's fearless, ain't scared of nothing, and uh, we definitely making each other better. And you know, you're one of the few guys that played here last year. What is what have you seen from the young guys? Anything to stand out, and how have you kind of been helping them, kind of? Acquainted with being in the lane. Uh, man, I, I really think it's their determination to get better and the competitiveness. Um, you know, you're really seeing them really grow and get better every day, um, all of the rookies, and you're also seeing the competitiveness and starting to see, you know, like we bringing in the right people in here, um, you know, to, to shape this, um, you know, organization. So, uh, you know, I, I feel like we got, a, we got a really good group of guys, you know, that's really just competing every day. And the running back room, you got a, you got a lot of talent in there. What do you, what have you seen from the new guy in Tyler, and kind of how you guys been competing with each other there? Yeah, Tyler's physical. Uh, he's a, he's a physical runner. Uh, we just had this conversation in the room the other day. All of us, man, we all got, we all big backs, and uh, we even threw Avery in there. But man, we got, we got a room, we got a room full of backs, man. That's, you know, 220 pounds plus, um, and and that, and that's, and that's what we are, um, and, and we, and we take pride in that, and we embrace that. Um, and he's, he's doing a great job. Have you guys uh, done anything different in terms of like building up this season to take advantage of that big back room that you guys have? Uh, no, I think um, I think that's that, like even when Art came here, that's the identity. You know what I'm saying? That, that he wanted to to bring to Atlanta, um, and and I think he wants that to be our identity moving forward. So, um, but also having that positionless, you know what I'm saying? Like. CP's a big back, but he can catch out the backfield. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bigger back. I, I, I feel like I can do everything as well. Like we all versatile, and uh, that's that's what makes it makes it a really good room. With CP lining up out wide so much, have you tried to kind of evolve your game to kind of work on that? Absolutely. You can never stop working. You can never stop getting better. Um, you know what I'm saying? The more you can do, uh, that's what we say around this building. You know, the more you can do, the more you know you give yourself the best chance to be on the field. Are there any uh, specific things in the offseason that you really wanted to hone in on for, for this upcoming season? Uh, probably like uh, that, like short area quickness. Uh, you know, really having that short area quickness and, and burst. Um, you know, I've always you know been a bigger, stronger guy, but having that quickness um, to add to that is something that I worked on for sure. Appreciate it. Hey, what's the biggest keys to getting that running game going? I'm talking to Keith yesterday. He was happy to be back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> man, you need you need all eleven. Really, you need all eleven in the run game, um, and I, and that's something that we preach in the, in the offensive room. You know, if you got all eleven, um, you know, receivers, tight ends, backs, you know, and obviously the offensive line, and even the quarterbacks now, man, that, that's really what it is. Everybody doing their job every single play. Any personal goals or expectations for yourself? Um, help this team win yeah. any way I can. Help this team win. Um, you know, every single week. You know, be be a part of be a part of something special. For sure. I know you're not with them when they're training in, the, in your own uh, groups, but have you seen anything from the O line? I know it's got a lot of positions available. Really other than yeah, our offensive line. Our offensive line is doing great. You know what I'm saying? And and when you got guys on the other side. You know, guys like Grady, guys like Lorenzo, Ade, they're just making those guys better. And it's back and forth, and that's what you like to see. Um, you really like to see, you know, that back and forth action and, uh, you know, guys just getting better, you know. Appreciate it. Oh, it's snuck in. Are you ready to be over? Nah, I think I'm I'm still here. Okay, great. All right, great. I'll ask you a couple more questions that Victor's probably already asked you. Okay. Okay, uh, first and foremost, obviously the competition is evident between everybody all over the field. Uh, what is that like as a player right now on this team? Uh, you know, one thing we say around the building is iron sharpens iron, and that's, and, that's, and that's what it is. You know, we all making each other better. We're all competitors. We all want to win. We all want to play. And, you know, if you're pushing your brother to the limit, you're making him better. So we're all, you know, we push each other 
all across the entire team, which is what I love about this camp is that, man, it's a, it's a lot of competition. It's a lot of people pushing each other. Okay, you said you guys are all pushing each other, but how do you push yourself? How do you get better in your next year? Uh, honestly, I got to challenge myself. You know, for me, you know, I've been here three years, going into my fourth year, and I haven't, you know, been the player that I've wanted to be that, you know, that Atlanta wanted me to be. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, but in all seriousness, though, uh, yeah, like, it, for me, it, it's, it hasn't been good enough. So that's my motivation. That's how I push myself every day, is how can I be the best player, the best version of myself. What's good enough for you? Helping this team win every week, any way I can, help the team win. Why can the Falcons be sneaky this year? Why can you guys be a good football team? Because uh, I feel like a lot of people sleep on us. Uh, you know, we're not front runners, but we got a team full of dogs. And we and, and one thing that we pride ourselves on is is playing hard every single play. So, you know, at the end of the, that fourth quarter, fifth quarter, overtime, whatever it is, you know, people are going to know that they played the Falcons. And that's something that we hang our hat on. You're one of the few guys that's been here for a little bit, yeah. more than a year, really. Yeah. Uh, it, does it feel like you're a Wiley veteran on this team? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, especially when you got people coming in that was like, I'm not that old, but like, we got like Tyler born in like the 2000s, and like, even Kyle was like born in 2000. So it's like that, that kind of messed with me a little bit. Like, dang, I kind of, but I, I'm nowhere near as old, you know, I'm, I'm year four, but I do feel like a vet, though. Okay, are you feeding off the energy of some of these younger guys then? Absolutely, absolutely. They're making me feel younger. That's what they say. You keep enough young people around you, you'll stay young. That's good. <laughs> Second day of uh, pads here. I mean, what's kind of the intensity increase when you put those pads on? Oh yeah, everybody, the intensity has to raise just because we've been running around in t-shirts and shorts for Lord knows too long, but now it's time for real football to start. It's time for the preparation that's really going to help us through the season. So we just got to keep stacking and getting better. As someone who's come into this from, you know, another team, I mean, what is it like to see all the kind of competitive drills that they have? How does that compare to maybe other teams you've been on? All the everyone watching yeah. all those one-on-ones and stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's extremely competitive, man. It's good to have that within the team, especially when offense is going back back and forth with the defense. It's punch and counter punch, and I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't expect it any other way. Defense uh, with the upper hand today. Offense, what, what's the? Oh what's yeah, the I mean, coming from me, defense always <laughs> defense always on top. But you gotta respect offense because they they always come back and have their play a player too. But we gotta we gotta say defense. <laughs> Is it, how do you kind of show your physicality and that side of your game when you do put on those pads? Because obviously that's what the coaches are looking for, trying to find that, you know, those dogs out there that are going to be that guy. Yeah, just, you know, just like I said, it's football. Once the pads come on, um, that's, it's nothing you can do but play football. Everything's going to be exposed. So if you're not prepared or if you're running around guessing, then with those pads magnify everything. What up? Thank you, and uh, don't hold it against me. <laughs> I'll try. No, <laughs> Zach, man. What up? Good to see you, brother. <laughs> you too. Good, man. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, you got you representing the dogs. It's just kind of surreal that the year you signed with the Falcons, they win it all. Oh yeah, man. I knew it was coming, so I can't I can't say it's surreal, but it's good to be home when, with the championship at home, working on getting one here. What's it gonna take? for this team to get to that next level? It's going to take hard work, um, and I think we got the guys for it. Um, nobody's backing down from challenges. The coaches are challenging us every day, and the players are stepping up. We're pushing each other, and uh, we might win one day. Defense might win one day, but offense, they're not not—they're not laying down. They're coming right back at us. Does it seem like yesterday you were a wide-eyed rookie making so, your debut in the National Football League? Yeah, it, it goes fast. Um, me and my strip coach, we were talking to AK, Arnold, and just letting them know it. It's fast. In a blink of an eye, it'll happen. So you just got to cherish every moment and take advantage of the day. So what do you tell the rookies now that were in your shoes, you know, some five years ago, about taking advantage of the opportunity both on and off the field, get their body right, get their mind right, and this is a business. It's go time. Yeah, pretty much. Like you said, you get your body right, get your mind right, and shut up and listen. Because <laughs> that's one thing rookies, they think they know coming from college, but it's a whole different game. This is a business right now, so treat it, like, treat it as such. I was talking to your head coach. He expects you to be the leader in this linebacking locker room. You're a veteran in there. Do you lead by example, by your words, or a little bit of both? A little bit of both. It depends on what the guys need. Uh, I let the DVs do their chirping. I let them talk a lot. But when it comes down to it, if I got to get in somebody or get it going, then hey, I do it. What excites you about this defense? Just our aggressiveness. Everybody's ready. Everybody's competing. Um, 
nobody's really just sitting back waiting. Everything, everything is go, make it happen. Best Dean P story so far is? Ooh, Dean P. We got we got Courtney Upshaw here working with us, so okay. we got a few stories about Courtney. Uh, He's a little scrappy guy, so <laughs> <laughs> we got a few about him, but we'll leave those in the, in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> He's old school, man, right? Oh, I yeah, mean, yeah. He, he tells you like it was back in the day and expects you to perform like it was, you know, Lawrence Taylor oh, uh, yeah. bringing it and getting that quarterback. Uh, you kind of feed off that knowledge and what he's meant to this league and what he brings to you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, he has the film to back up what he's saying, so we can see it done the right way, and when you do it the right way, the results happen. So I'm trying to change that film from old film to Falcons film. How hard? Go ahead, D. Uh, Lorenzo, how's it coming together? How's that? How things coming together for the defense? CP said y'all kind of whooped them up yesterday, and uh, they're trying to catch up to you guys. Yeah, um, it's easy for defense. We we get to be aggressive. We get to play fast, and Coach P's makes it easy for us. So, I mean, that adjustment for us is just making sure we're playing fast and making sure we're doing the right things to cover each other. But, yeah, our CP can talk what he talk. I know he they gonna make their plays too. They got us a few times, but. Don't let them sugarcoat it. <laughs> in, in your experience, how long does it take you to kind of get in that tackling mentality, right? Because you can't do it now. You start off the year kind of slow and then build into it, or is it nah, something now? Nah, we can't start slow. That's that's what that's what gets you beat and what gets you losing games early, and those games count. So our coach has done a good job making sure we work on those fundamentals. You don't have to have pads on to be in the right position to tackle. So being in the right position is have a majority of the battle. And once you do that, and once you're good at that, then Making that play and tackling to the ground is the easy part. You going up to Athens at all? Eh, I try to make my way up there. Yeah. Maybe my off day I spent sleep, so yeah. we'll see. Uh, <laughs>